Supreme Audit Agency detected some fraud in the use of COVID-19 handling budget. Several non-compliances and weakness in the internal control system were found in 2020 Central Government Financial Report. 2020 Central Government Financial Report specifically about COVID-19 handling has stolen the public spotlight. From official side, Chairman of the Supreme Audit Agency, Agung Firman Sampurna, say that there are several non-compliance issues regarding the provisions of law and regulations. The agency also detected weakness in internal control system. One of the non-compliances is about inadequate control in the complementations of COVID-19 handling and economic recovery program expenditure of non trillion in 10 ministries and agencies. According to Supreme Audit Agency, it doesn't comply with the regulation. Realisasi insentif dan fasilitas perpajakan dalam rangka penanganan COVID-19 dan pemulihan ekonomi nasional tahun 2020 minimal sebesar 1,69 triliun tidak sesuai ketentuan. C. Pengendalian dalam pelaksanaan belanja program PCPN sebesar 9 triliun pada 10 kementerian lembaga tidak memadai. D. Penyaluran belanja subsidi bunga kredit usaha rakyat atau KUR dan non-KUR serta belanja lain-lain kartu prakerja dalam rangka PCPN belum memperhatikan kesiapan pelaksanaan program sehingga terdapat sisa dana kegiatan atau program yang masih belum disalurkan sebesar 6,77 triliun rupiah. The agency also stated that the realizations of 28.75 trillion rupiah for COVID-19 handling and economic recovery program was out of framework and schedule. Supreme Audit Agency concluded that the effectiveness, transparency and accountability and compliance of the management and the responsibility of the state finance in emergency conditions of COVID-19 pandemic were not fully achieved. Jakarta Rahajo Pakmo, IDX Channel.